Let's take a look at this. Come on. Wasps are some of the most feared insects in the world, and it makes sense as they look extremely aggressive, and even more importantly, have the ability to induce very painful stings. But in all my experience with wasps, whether it be observing them, catching them, or even keeping them, I have never noted them to be particularly aggressive, and I've rarely gotten stung except for a couple tags. Let's see just how much it really takes to get a paper wasp to be defensive, and more importantly, if a fully potent sting is as bad as it has been described. All right, children, here we have ourselves a beautiful female Polistes dorsalis, hunter's little paper wasp. Now you could tell this is a female by the antennae. Now, males would have very curved antennae, females almost completely straight. Now the reason that I really wanted to catch a female is because only female wasps can sting. So, males cannot sting because the stinger is a modified ovipositor. The ovipositor is the organ that many female insects use to lay their eggs. And wasps, ants, and bees all have a modified version of that organ to use as their stinger, which is the reason why males cannot sting. Now let's see what she's capable of. Now I'm holding her pretty hard right now, and as you can see, absolutely no attempt to sting. She's just trying to go away. Trying really hard to get her to want to sting my finger. As you can see, the stinger isn't even coming out. Sting me. Right there, come on. Alright, yeah, she got me a little. Definitely got me a little. As you can see, it takes so much to try and provoke a polistes. These guys won't sting unprovoked out, and she just got me a little bit again there. Now, polistes umbrella paper wasps are not very defensive of their nests, so it takes a lot to get one to want to sting you. As you can see, I'm holding it about as aggressively as I can without hurting it, and she's not even trying to sting. She stung me once, and it barely hurts. I'm going to try and get her to sting me in a more sensitive spot, but I've heard Polistes stings could be quite painful. Let's take a look at this. Come on. Ow, yeah! There we go. That is the pain I was thinking about. Not bad, but... Yeah. That is a Polistes dorsalis sting. Let's see one more. Let's get it one more time. Yep, so the stinger, as you can see, it's injecting its venom into me right now. Like you can see it popping out. But it's really not causing any pain whatsoever. And as you can see, she's still injecting. And I just took the stinger out, and I feel a little tingling, but um, nothing much from this Polistes dorsalis. Now, now, I don't suggest just picking up wasps and letting them sting you, because you could be allergic to this species' venom. And even worse, there are species of wasp that do have worse venom than Polistes dorsalis, even in the genus Polistes. All the species here in South Florida are pretty tame when it comes to their venom. So, but yeah, this was kind of painful. As you can see, it is starting to welt up a little bit. Both stings. Both uh, entrances, I guess you could say. They are red. Uh, but that's fine. I'm going ahead and release this gorgeous Polistes dorsalis. So, it's been a whole day since the stings. And the areas are actually kind of bothering me more than they were yesterday. 
Uh, it's making a little bit of trouble while walking, especially since they're right on the knees. Uh, they're pretty itchy, and they could be a little painful sometimes. But honestly, it is nowhere as bad as I was expecting it to be, especially the one right here that I let it continuously inject venom into me for quite some time. So, yeah, these should heal pretty quickly. Hello, children. I was out for a run looking for some cool critters. And if you're looking for some cool critters yourself, go to Cool Critters and Mikey Green will tell you what all those critters are about. And I saw a bunch of cool critters in this cornfield. Have a good day.